Welcome. I'm excited to tell you about the MClass Intervention Practice app. We'll start with an overview of the app, why you should use it and how to use it. We'll also review how to download the app, how to get kids to log in quickly, and how to keep kids invested and excited. I'll wrap up with a discussion about monitoring usage and getting kids started at home. The MClass Intervention Practice app is a set of games that gives your kids practice with early literacy skills. On the left, we see a rhyming game where kids choose the picture that rhymes with the word they hear. On the right, we see a game where kids hear a sound and tap on the letter that makes that sound. The practice app works on iPads, iPhones, and iPods. Each game is linked to an early reading skill taught in M-Class intervention. The skills include phonological awareness, letter sound knowledge, sounding out and blending, regular word knowledge, irregular word knowledge, letter combination knowledge, and advanced phonics. The practice app teaches decoding, so we recommend having all your kids that are working on decoding use it. In most schools, this means giving the app to all of their kindergarten, first grade, and below grade level second graders. Let's take a look at one of the phonological awareness games called Zoom Boom. In this game, kids choose the picture that rhymes with the words they hear. Which one rhymes with shoe, two, vine, sing? Which one rhymes with shoe? Your kids can play with the app at school during a rotation station, lunch, or before or after school. They should also play with the app at home, at night, or on the weekends. We recommend 10 minutes per day for kindergartners and 15 minutes per day for first and second graders. Some kids may not be ready for practice on the app every day, though. If your kids aren't ready, do not force them to play. You will see what we call clicks without real thinking, which won't help your kids. This should be avoided at all costs. You're now ready to download the M-Class Intervention Practice app, so I'll walk you through those steps. On an iPad, iPhone, or iPod, tap on the App Store icon and search for M-Class Intervention Practice. Tap on Get, and then Install. You'll be prompted to type in your Apple ID. If you don't know yours, usually a tech coordinator, intervention coordinator, or other teacher will have it. Enter your school's Apple ID password, and the app will download to your phone. If your device doesn't have iOS 14 or higher, you will receive a prompt to upgrade. Follow those directions. Once the app downloads, you will see a notification about the app using your device's camera. Click OK. Next, you'll want to get your students' logins. Start by navigating to learning.amplify.com and log in. Then click on MClass View Reports. Click on the reading tile. Click on Intervention. And click on View Practice App. This is the Practice App dashboard, and there's a lot more to discuss, but we'll save that for the end of this video so right now we can stay focused on getting your kids' logins. Choose your class or group here at the top and click Print QR Codes. Then you'll click Print This Page to get your students' logins. Your kids will log in to the Practice App with their codes like this. A note about logging out. The Practice app will automatically log your kids out after 30 minutes. If you use the app at a station, ask your kids to log out when they're done so the next group of students doesn't play using the previous student's login. If a student plays the app while logged in as another student, the app won't have accurate data about what each student can do. It's helpful to keep your kids' QR codes in the same place, so getting started every day only takes a couple of minutes. Some educators keep their kids' QR codes next to pictures of each kid on a wall like this. As your kids use the Practice app, recognize their progress with statements that promote a growth mindset. When kids unlock eggs, praise students' efforts with specific feedback such as, I can tell you've been working hard on letter sounds. Kids who haven't yet unlocked eggs should also receive feedback that reinforces effort and risk-taking. For example, if your student is having trouble with a game, 
you could help him or her and then say, I like how you keep trying. Remember how I said I'd come back to the dashboard? We're back. If you're an intervention coordinator, school leader, or teacher, you will want to monitor your students' usage to make sure your kids are getting enough practice. First, click on the class or group and set the time frame that you're interested in. From this report, you can see the date each student was last active, the progress that they're making in games, and how much time they've spent on the app during the selected time frame. You can also unlock games like you see here, but the app will adapt to your students' needs so we don't expect you'll do this frequently. Intervention coordinators, school leaders, and teachers will also want to look at individual student stats. Click on a student's name to see, for each game, the date last played, average score, max score, average play time, and total number of plays. Kids whose parents have an iPad, iPhone, or iPod can use the Practice app at home. Print QR codes for each kid's parents and attach them to our flyer, which you can find directly below this video on the M-Class Intervention Hub. Let parents know that kids should never be forced to play. They should only have kids play the games when they are excited to play. If you have any questions, please reach out to Amplify's educational support team on live chat or email anytime Monday through Friday between 7 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for listening.